Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to the video. Welcome to my garage. This is going to be episode two of the Mahler rebuild series. This one's going to be just a quick video because I've gotten a lot of emails asking a lot of questions about the chassis and I've decided because this whole this whole video series is going to be about building a, ba a, ma a <laughs> building a Baja like Mahler. I, I want to answer a bunch of questions about the chassis and the Basically, the two different ways I think you can build the chassis. I want to answer those questions before I really dive into the build. So, first and foremost, in all of these Mahler rebuild videos, in the description, I'll have a link to my shared folder. The shared folder actually has lots of information specific for Mahler, but I'll have a description in there telling you what to click on to get to the chassis for this and then I'll have a description in there also um, going over because I've got I've got several different variations of the chassis and I also have them in several different file types so that depending on what software you guys have to work with I'm hoping there's something in there that will at least get you guys at the bare minimum dimensions all the way up to I've got step files in there that I think works with AutoCAD and SolidWorks and then, of course, the best solution, I think, if you're really, really serious about this, is to have the Bentex software. And then I have the BTAX file types, which is the specific file type for Bentec. So then you can actually take the chassis into your Bentec, and you can look at everything, and you can pull the parts out, and you can get the templates and everything you need to actually build the chassis. So I don't want to get too long-winded on this, honestly. Since I designed this chassis, I could talk about this chassis forever, but I just want to spit out the, the main points I think you need to consider if you're thinking about using this chassis for a Baja build. And I guess there's three things that I want to cover. The first thing is, this is the ratchet chassis right here. This is ratchet, and this is the ratchet chassis. This chassis, although it was designed off of a traditional Volkswagen Baja bug, it's meant to be built with either fiberglass panels like this, or you could also use steel panels. But what I'm getting at is the chassis goes all the way out to the exterior of the skin. Whereas if you're dealing with just a regular Volkswagen bug, you'll have interior panels like this. This would be the exterior panel, and this is what the ratchet chassis is designed to mount to. But you, on, on a regular Volkswagen body, you also have the inside. So if you were going to build this and use a steel body, theoretically, you're going to have to cut all of these inside pieces out and just use the exterior skin. That being said, you can also modify the chassis if you want. I mean. I'm assuming for the most part people aren't going to build the exact chassis so you could always you know make the chassis a little bit smaller but just so everybody knows the ratchet chassis is meant to be built all the way up to the panels and it's meant to not have doors there's no doors here you have to climb in again you can modify it you can put doors on there but the base design is no doors but here's the big piece that I think a lot of people don't don't realize if you look at a regular Volkswagen bug body like this going down here of course the body has its natural curve and then it curves right here and then the hood line is also a continuous curve as is the windshield everything on a Volkswagen is curvy and roundy but this is curved radius corner radius side ratchet is built a little bit more squared off. So ratchet, at this point here, goes straight down. And he also comes straight up to about here and then turns and goes straight in. So if you put a ratchet chassis right here, he would actually come up a little bit and then head in. So you wouldn't get this, this curve right here. And I'll show you that right now. So if you look here on Ratchet, you'll see this bar, this is the tube right here, is actually straight. Now I've built 
this little piece of sheet metal here that holds my body panels because I did make my body panels with the the curve that a Volkswagen body has because I want that Volkswagen look but just so you can see the chassis itself is straight this is just a piece that the panel helps bolt to to give it that radius and then it comes up here and where an actual Volkswagen would curve in right here ratchet is more squared off and as a matter of fact I purposely installed the mirrors like this because when you when you put the mirrors here it makes this appear like it has a purpose so it's not just a jagged edge that kind of protrudes there but my fiberglass front end is actually going to come in here and have a little bit of an opening for this and it's so that this chunky piece can stick out and hopefully it won't look it won't look like it doesn't belong there and then if you look here my windshield runs straight across there's a tube that runs perfectly straight across and then my windshield arches forward whereas an actual Volkswagen has a sweeping arc up and then it comes back down now you can build it any way you want but the reason I'm telling you this is out of the box this is what the ratchet chassis is meant to be. Now that being said, I do enjoy this. Mahler has a little bit more of a traditional Volkswagen Baja look to him, where ratchet, although I tried to give him that traditional Volkswagen bug look and he captures some of that, I think right now, he in the front has a little bit of a like a Chevy square body look which I like that I grew up with Chevy square bodies and I probably subconsciously purposely designed some of that in but it does make him look a little bit different than than a regular Volkswagen however because Mahler you know is more of a traditional Volkswagen bug I'm going to build him with the ratchet chassis but I'm gonna modify the ratchet chassis around here because I want to keep this rounded look. I don't know yet exactly how I'm going to do that, but I think I'm going to take all of these skins and I'm just gonna put them in place, kind of mock the pieces in place, and then where I need to customize the chassis, I'm just gonna use my bender and my roller and make the tubing so that it just comes right up to the metal and fits in there. And I'm also going to give Mahler operational doors. They're not going to be full-size doors like this, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think they will open, and instead of having a bar running right across there, I think I'll have a cross so that it's much easier to hop in. Not 100% sure on that yet, but I do know that I'm going to build the ratchet chassis so that I can maintain the more traditional look of, of Mahler here. Okay, that's it. That's just some information I wanted to get out there because I get a lot of people who email me and they tell me that they want to take a Volkswagen body and put it right over the ratchet chassis and I always have to respond to them and I say, you know, it's not really meant for that. You can, you can clearly make that work with some modifications, but if you take my design and you've, if you just build that chassis, a body will not fit right on there, but I am excited to build Mahler in the way that I think I think most people would like it because it will have um, a more traditional Volkswagen Baja look to it. And it's going to be um, a little bit lighter duty than Ratchet. You know, Ratchet, I, I tried to make everything a little bit over the top, whereas Mahler, I'm going to keep him a little bit more traditional, which is going to make him a little bit lighter weight, a little bit more user-friendly. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it's helping you guys with building a Baja or whatever you might be working on, and I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.